this headset can actually read my mind. Okay, so maybe that's a slight oversimplification slash exaggeration. What it actually does is record the voltage fluctuations emitted by my brain via 14 electrodes in different areas. This technology is called electroencephalography, or EEG for short. You may have seen this in popular works of science fiction, but I assure you it's very real. This particular headset is by a company called Emotive, and I've actually had this for quite some time. I utilized it in my high school science fair right before COVID hit where I aimed to create a brain-computer interface capable of controlling artificial muscles which I also attempted to fabricate. Quite the ambitious goal, which I admittedly was too inexperienced to carry the project as far as I wanted to, and probably still am. But I've still been thinking about it all these years, so we may have yet to see my ideas come to light. Anyways, the felt pads are soaked in saline, which picks up the signal from my brain and passes it to a gold electrode in contact with the headset, where it is then run through an amplifier into something more readable. Unfortunately, my thick hair can make this process for me a little less efficient and more tedious to set up, but it still works more or less. It's what we can do with those recorded signals that things become even more interesting. The emotive software has a special feature that allows its user to record a unique thought across multiple sessions and attribute it to a certain command. You can extend this feature outside the emotive software using their API. You can then take it a step further and control things to a more physical effect as you can program computer-controlled electronic devices. To demonstrate, I made this basic block code on Node-RED which takes training profiles from my emotive app and applies the commands from that profile to activate different colored LEDs. The more commands you add, the less efficient this becomes, but it's nonetheless a cool technology that you can use to control anything from computer commands to servo motors. And as much as we all want coding a brain-computer interface to look something like this... Here's a condensed version of the nightmare that actually occurred, as I low-key sometimes can't program for shit. Okay, right now I'm uploading the communications protocol to the Arduino. Oh, my headset. Duh. Forgot I have to authorize the app. Right. There's an authorization process. Many hours later. God, finally! Thank you! Jesus Christ. That took way too long. Well, it's not over yet, because now I have to wait for my headset to finish charging. It practically died while I was doing that. Me, from 16 hours ago, has no idea how correct he actually is. It was indeed not over. And he would spend the next several hours trying to figure out how he activated the microcontroller pins three years ago. I used to have a laptop with the original nodes, but... Now I don't. The next day. Alright, the way I have things set up right now... The red LED is linked to the neutral command. The green LED is linked to the pull command. And the blue LED is linked to the push command. So hopefully all goes well. Start the LED camera. Red. Green. Blue. As you can see, there is some inefficiency with interpreting the EEG commands. Granted, my hair makes it so that I have terrible resolution on my headset, and I only spent about three or four Red. recordings per command. Blue. Red. Overall, I'd say my testing was pretty successful. Now, admittedly, this was a bit of a filler video, as my other video is taking much, much longer than I originally intended, but it should hopefully be out in the next couple of weeks. I wanted to show you this to let you know that I have some very special plans with this kind of interface technology and that I intend to make some interesting stuff. Even if it's not very efficient and requires immense focus, one has to admit that the ability to essentially control computers with your mind is pretty damn cool. That's all I have today, so catch you next time.